Operation Harsh Doorstop has finally been released to the general public and that means it comes with mod support. So how do you run mods from Steam? Well, first things first, obviously have Steam opened on the OHD page. Then come along here to this workshop tab, click on that. And now we can select mods and as you can see there are different sort of types of mods we have factions maps etc etc i'm just going to choose this one here the troopers one which i think is starship troopers let's click on that and i'm going to subscribe to it so that means it's now going to download onto my pc as you can see here it's finally finished downloading so let's just go back to the main page click on play And here we are in game, so let's just click on single player, because I just want to play single player, obviously. Here's the mod itself, click on that. Click on the desert map that it comes with, and we'll just press start. Right, and here we are in game, and it's the usual thing, just select your spawn point, select your trooper, and just deploy. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so I don't actually want to play single player, I want to play multiplayer. How do you go about doing that and dropping into a multiplayer game? Well, let's just exit by pressing escape. We'll leave the game. Yes. Go to multiplayer. Just wait for the servers to refresh. Now, if you want to play on a multiplayer server that's using mods, you have to have the mods installed, obviously. Now, with other games, you can choose a server and it will automatically download the mods for you, but it doesn't work that way at the moment in ohd but um let's just have a little look right here's a server running it so we'll just join there we go there's quite a few people on it so just select anything select the spawn and that's how simple it is there's people running around pretty easy but I'm not really interested in playing this so let's get out of here again same thing as always escape and leave game so now let's say for example you want to want to run with a different faction how do you install that same again in fact I'll exit out okay and we'll come back into the steam workshop we'll just look for a faction what's a good one here that we can grab faction let's grab oof, this project orion one which is the halo factions we'll just click on that subscribe same again it downloads and once that's done we'll just jump back into the game and here we are i'll just go single player and i'm gonna pick well, I could use these Halo ones, but I'm just going to use the standard maps that come with the game, like this Rosala one here. And then I can choose the factions, ODST, and there's a bunch of others. I'm not too sure what they are. Azure, I guess, is one of those. Now, you can see the bot counts here. You can actually change these if you want to, I think, a max of 64. Put 100 in. Yeah, it defaults to 64 on both. Now, you can change this so I'm overriding it from the console so if I was to press on the tilde key like so you'll see the little console prompt and if I do an up arrow here I've been messing around earlier there's a whole bunch of different commands that you would use to add different amounts of bots but I won't go into this because it's in an, another video and they may update this to do it automatically I don't know so if you're interested you know watch the other video and i'll put a link in or as i say it's in the playlist but never mind let's carry on right so we've chosen our factions the number of players that we want and we'll just press start right here are in game just choose your weapon there you go and there's your your kit right so finally i want to show you a couple of tricks that are really useful when it comes to mod management or just installing mods that are not on the steam workshop so let's do that now i'll just jump out and here we are back at the ohd steam page now how do you track down workshop files in fact why do you want to track them down well there's multiple reasons they may have become orphaned when you've unsubscribed from them and they haven't deleted from your hard drive. You may just want to move them around. You may have uninstalled Harsh Doorstop, put it on another PC, and these files are just orphaned somewhere on your hard drive. Uh, or you just want to sort of dig into them and use them for modding purposes. 
where do these files live? Well, it's quite easy to track them down, and this is how you do it. First of all, I'll just show you quickly how to uninstall them in theory. Go to workshop, files, subscribed items, and unsubscribe. That should get rid of them. But anyway, if it doesn't, you can do this. So let's just go back. And in fact, we'll go to the Steam store page first. Then right click here, copy the page URL. We'll just go back. Okay, I'm just going to paste it here because we want this number. This unique number is the Steam ID for OHD. Now let's click on the management cog here. Go to manage, browse local files. And we'll just click up, I think go to Steam apps. Yep, that's what we want. Come to workshop. And if we go to content, these are all the games that you have, which have mods. And here is Operation Harsh Doorstop. Drill down on that. And here are the mods that we've got installed. So if I drill down once more, again, these numbers here are the unique identifier for the actual workshop mod itself. Now let's drill down. All right, this is the Troopers one. And if we go back here, that's Delta Force. Right, so now if you want, you could delete them from here or just move them or do whatever you want, basically. But I'm going to use them to show you how to install mods manually. So how's that done exactly? So firstly, let's move this window out of the way. Come back to the cog. Click on Manage. Browse Local Files. The other window should have opened up oh, somewhere on the monitor. There we go. Now we'll just drill down into Harsh Doorstop here. Okay, and we'll create another folder. We're going to call it Mods. Go New, Folder. Type in Mods. I've spelled it with a capital M, but I'm not sure if it's case sensitive because this isn't Unix, it is Windows. So try both if you want, but I've been running it this way and it works fine for me. Now, this is where you would put any of the mods that you've got from say Google or somebody sent to you if you're testing stuff. Like I say, anything that's not in the Steam Workshop, you can just pop in here. So for argument's sake, let's bring back the ones that we installed earlier and I'm going to move them. So I'm going to put in the faction for Delta Force. So just drill down, grab it. You don't need that identifier and we'll just copy it in here. There it is. And I can just go back here and delete this. Oh. Right, so that's done. Right, in fact, let's just close this out. And we're now going to relaunch the game so we can run Delta Force. Let's go to single player. Pick any map. And we'll go down here to Blue Force. And where is it? Delta, Delta. There it is, Delta Force. And we can just hit start. The rest I'm just leaving as default. Right, so here we are, here's the Delta Force mod installed manually. I mean, I know it's available on Steam Workshop, but I didn't want to go around searching for mods as there's not that many out there at the moment in places like ModDB, where's, where I usually go, there's about three mods there at the moment, but I'm expecting people to start putting mods up everywhere. Now, you may wonder why, you know, why would you bother installing mods manually well as i said there's testing reasons but also because of the fact that ohd is so open somebody could in essence make some uh, copyrighted models and there's no way you'd be able to put them on the steam workshop for example say somebody wants to use escape from tarkov assets yeah those would get struck down in two minutes on steam so if somebody just makes them available from a third party site there's not a lot they can do about it i mean i'm not condoning it i'm just saying it's a thing but anyway that's how you do it so if you've got any questions guys on how to install mods or how to use the steam workshop or whatever just uh, drop me a line down below and i'll endeavor to help you out but that's literally all there is to it it's pretty simple once you know how and get out there and start enjoying some mods